gentlemen. It's been a privilege flying with you. Roger that. Expect to regain signal in three minutes. It depends on each you. One minute and 30 seconds to end of blackout. No re-entering ship has ever taken longer than three minutes to emerge from blackout. This is the critical moment for the heat shield hold, for the command module survive the intense heat of re-entry. If it doesn't, there will only be silence. Mommy, you're squishing me. I'm sorry. Okay, flight, that's three minutes. We are standing by for acquisition. Odyssey, Houston, do you read me? Odyssey, this is Houston, do you read? The expected time of reacquisition, the time when the astronauts were expected to come out of blackout, has come and gone. But all any of us can do now is just listen and hope. We're about to learn whether or not that heat shield, which was damaged, as you remember, by the explosion three days ago, has withstood the inferno of reentry. Odyssey, this is Houston. Do you read me? Odyssey, Houston, do you read me? Three minutes, 30 seconds, stand by. Odyssey, Houston, do you read me? Odyssey, this is Houston. Do you read me? That's four minutes, standing by. Out of the uh, Houston, do you read? This is Odyssey. It's good to see you again.
Houston, uh, we're at Stable One. The ship is secure. This is Apollo 13 signing off. Good job. Our mission was called a successful failure in that we returned safely but never made it to the moon. In the following months, it was determined that a damaged coil built inside the oxygen tank sparked during our cryo stir and caused the explosion that crippled the Odyssey. It was a minor defect that occurred two years before I was even named the flight's commander. Fred Hayes was going back to the moon on Apollo 18, but his mission was canceled because of budget cuts. He never flew in space again. Nor did Jack Swigert, who left the astronaut corps and was elected to Congress from the state of Colorado. But he died of cancer before he was able to take office. Ken Mattingly orbited the moon as command module pilot of Apollo 16 and flew the space shuttle, having never gotten the measles. Gene Kranz retired as director of flight operations just not long ago. And many other members of mission control have gone on to other things, but some are still there. And as for me, the seven extraordinary days of Apollo 13 were my last in space. I watched other men walk on the moon and return safely, all from the confines of mission control and our house in Houston. I sometimes catch myself looking up at the moon, remembering the changes of fortune in our long voyage, thinking of the thousands of people who worked to bring the three of us home. I look up at the moon, and wonder, when will we be going back, and who will that be?